Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Sports Betting Education Channel. SBENation.com, go check out the website. I still have a 50% off coupon for you guys on the, um, the football packages, and I lowered my price. So that coupon was based on the packages being 1500 Packages are down to 500 for all of NCAA, all of NFL, so you can get it for 250 But I'm taking that down here in a couple of hours. I'm going to drive home, and I'll take it down when I get home tonight. Going to put out some documentation. Put a great video out yesterday. I went over the uh, spreadsheet of all my picks, second half MLB, uh, the wins and the losses, and the return on investment on each of those. So if I'm picking heavy favorites, the reward for that is not as great as if I'm you know, taking underdogs. So return on investment is so key because when you're betting your own money and you're truly documenting your results as a sports better or a handicapper, a sports consultant, whatever you want to call me and call everyone else who's got picks online, the return on investment is all that matters. The record doesn't even matter at all. I don't care if you were one in 10, if that one was a 50 to one hit, well then you're profitable. And I'd rather be making money going one in 10 than losing buddy going 10 and one. Um, but check out that video from yesterday. Really great documentation and I've said it a lot of times, one of my biggest goals here is to raise the bar for sports consulting and sports betting YouTube channels. And I think with that video, I think with what Kevin the Rake is doing over on his channel, I talked about him in that video too, and I think more and more handicappers becoming more truly transparent with their their records and showing the spreadsheets and saying, hey, these are all my picks, check them out. You can pause the video and verify each and one of these picks. And then me, what I'm doing on my Instagram page, it's crucial, it's important, and I wouldn't use two minutes of this video on it if I didn't think it was important. People are saying they're transparent and they're saying they're documenting, but they're not. Yeah, they recap their losses, uh, but then the next week you notice they're going on a 14 and four run. How's that possible when you had so many losing days? Well, it's not. And the problem is nobody's there to, to hold these guys accountable. And they're just, you know, they only have to sell to one out of a hundred people. One out of a hundred people is really, you know, you can really, um, get clients from the bottom of the barrel, I guess, and still make an absolute ton of money putting out inaccurate records. So I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just raising the bar and hopefully eventually people will see what I'm doing. They'll come to me and they'll force the competition to elevate their game as well. So in this free pick video, I'm looking at the Yankees again. I'm looking at them again and it's reminding me a lot of the Yankees and Rays series. The Yankees dominated the Rays this season. They've dominated the Red Sox so far. They're six and one against the Sox on the season. They've got Tanaka pitching tonight. They actually came off of two wins where they had to put up a ton of runs against the Twins because their bullpen was giving up runs and they were just getting crappy performances from their starters. They have Tanaka going tonight and I think that he'll give them some quality innings uh, or at least enough to <laughs> exit the game with a lead. Um, you know, really it wouldn't even have taken much the way these Yankee bats are hitting the ball. But I think Tanaka gets them back on track from the pitching standpoint, and then I think the offense stays hot. And if you look at their production, they're getting quality at bats from from one to nine in the lineup. It's phenomenal. The second half of the Yankees lineup is just is white hot, uh, just as much so as as the huge names in the first half of their lineup. And I really like. I really think they're the better team. Uh, both have the pitching edge and then have a huge edge in the lineup. Didi Gregorius, his last ten at bats over the last two games, he's got eight hits eight hits in the last two games that's just insane guys and uh they had to move him up in the order to the five hole yesterday but it's funny because he's he's batting later in the lineup a lot of games uh mike toshman phenomenal multi multi-hit games the last three games uh but his at bats just look so sharp i mean that one game uh two days ago when the yankees came from behind and really shouldn't have won that game he was laying off of off speed stuff thrown lefty on lefty curveballs that start in the zone into out of the zone sliders that that tell away from the lefty and he's able to lay off with two strikes the Yankees are down to the last strike and the dude draws one of the clutchest walks that I've seen uh, in a big game playoff it was regular season but playoff atmosphere that Yankees twin series and his his eye his ability to not swing at balls and only swing at strikes is phenomenal and then he's got a really beautiful swing as a lefty there. He's like 6'2", 200 pounds. So all these Yankee hitters are huge. They're all capable of going 
yard every given guy and it puts so much pressure on opposing pitchers I think what we're seeing here is the betting markets are having a hard time comprehending just how dominant the Yankees are and the gap between the Yankees and the other teams in the league. And the Astros are right up there with them. The Dodgers, I believe, are third best in my power rankings right now. Uh, but the gap between these super teams and the rest of the league is tremendous. And yes, the Red Sox, big name. Yeah, the Cubs, big name team um, where the, the iconic logo and they have huge fan bases. But look, this is a massive mismatch. And to get the Yankees at minus 115, I'll take that all day. And I don't care if every public better in the world is betting on it. I do think that you know you should look into that and that should weigh into your decisions uh, at some point, but this is clearly a mismatch. We're clearly getting the better odds, and if they're going to price the Yankees close to even money, minus 115, minus 125, things like that, I'm going to bet on them every single game this series. You know, Of course, I'm going to look deeper into it in the pitching matchups and stuff, but I, th I really think that their um, their hitting advantage, their their batting lineup, the uh, the gap between the Red Sox and the Yankees is so huge that I'm comfortable betting on New York blind. Um, if we get them at any price, better equal or better than uh, minus 125. So your free plays on the Yankees today. I have two more plays. We went three and one the last two days, so uh, that puts us on a six and two run. So really good return on investment is up to 520 on the season. If you want to see my documentation, go to the video I uploaded late last night. Obviously, I document on my Instagram page as well. Also, I have lowered prices. I talked about the NFL pack or the NFL and college football packages earlier in this video. The MLB Day Pass is ten dollars, so there's three plays today, uh, so just over three dollars a play. Uh, but some days I have four picks, and that's two dollars and fifty cents right there um, for for a write up and a pick. And the winning percentage is all documented; it doesn't lie. We've won more than we've lost on the season. Uh, we're consistently climbing with our return on investment and what we're seeing out of these plays this season. So only $10, that's on the website, sbenation.com. If you guys have any questions, just DM me on Instagram or comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for supporting me. Have a great day. Best of luck betting on sports, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.